Hi and welcome to Excel Data Entry Form. This particular program is to do with you being able to click on just this product button and it will save both whatever we have in the drink section onto sheet one and whatever we have on the snack session onto same screen two. So if I come in here, let's say I want four drinks for cook and uh, maybe five of those and let's say we want seven of these and here we want Doritos 12, 145 and 65. If I click on save products look at what's going to happen here this is for sheet 2 look at that and that's it for sheet 2 so for us to see sheet one, we can always exit, no, or oh. let's go to sheet one and we'll see what we have in there. Open up sheet one and there we go. Look at the stuff we have on sheet one. All right, let's try it out again using sheet one. We'll run it again. And right there, that's coke and so on. And in here, I have that. And this is sheet one. If I click on product, there we go. Look at that. Okay, we can reset, add more product. And we can even exit so what I'm going to do now is to take you guys straight into Excel development environment and we'll put one of these together let's do that now guys okay guys let's start a new project if you don't have your developer menu open all I advise you to do is to go to the file here let's click on file and select options okay right there you should be able to see this dialog box that pops up and in there the next thing you want is the customized ribbon once you select the customized ribbon and there you should be able to see the developer there make sure this is checked and you don't then click on ok once you click on the ok what will happen is you should be able to get, see the menu up here. So when you select the menu, click on Visual Basic, or you can always press Alt F11. Okay, that's it right there, Alt F11, and you should be able to see this developer environment. The next thing is for you to click on this very menu here in Set. Click on User Form, and this form should actually appear there. Okay, what I'm going to do now is to change. I'm going to change the dimension of this form, the height. I'm going to make that about 84. And the width, I'm going to make that 7. So that should actually be maybe right, something like that. Okay, the next thing is I'm going to now add the following add this as a frame and I need another frame here copy this very frame hold on to the control copy and drag right there okay then we need one more frame down here copy and bring it down right now we also need to change the back color of this very frame but well, first and first let's add a label here one label there and we need some more label here as well okay we have some label there click drag drop it there we need another label there then the text box Click on the text box, just draw it there. Click and click. 
select it all and just copy it across and we need three buttons there's a command button here and there we go command button one here another one here and one more here all right let's add one more frame here in this frame we're going to add a label there we go now select select each frame and get rid of the caption content you have on the caption just get rid of it and this as well this you go and one more right so this part of it will be for drinks and this part will be for maybe snacks all right so and here let's say let's call this exit and here I'm going to call that reset and here say product say product right okay and let's change the back, the back color of that. Go to palette and just select that. I repeat exactly the same thing for this one here. And this one, I want them to have the same color. And this one is going to be green as well. All right, what I'm going to do now is just to speed up the whole process and the naming, then I'll get back to you guys. Okay, this is how it looks like. So one more thing I'm going, I would like to do is the back color. Let's change the back color to black. Yeah, you see, see how it looks like now. It looks more pronounced. So the first thing is, I'm going to double click on this product. product. Let's make sure I have name for all of these here. They all have a name. You can see their names there. Double click on the product. I'm right in there and the product I'm going to declare as follow dim worksheet one. And let's say worksheet two as worksheet. Not workbook, I want it to be worksheet. There we go. Now the other variable is going to be dim add new as let's say range I'm going to need to actually let's say this is add new one and the other one is going to be add new number two there we go now right underneath here let's set worksheet one equals sheet one while worksheet two the variable worksheet two is going to be set as sheet two right a channel member actually required for these projects and it was sent to him I hope he likes it so now let's set that set add new one this very one the very first one here and the number one I want to set that equals worksheet one dot range try that again worksheet one dot range And the range is going to be from 65,000. That's A, 65,000. 65,000. 356. And close that. Dot. End. X 
minus 1. Dot of offset. zero there we go that's for worksheet one so let's add the right here we have add new i'm gonna copy that paste that in here dot offset offset and that's going to be zero comma zero dot value equals txt cola dot text right that's the very first one so I'm, I'm just gonna copy this copy and paste and this the next one is going to be one and this is two and here this is going to be sprite and this is going to be tropical now. There we go. So all I just need to do now, I'm going to copy all of these four. Worksheet number two. And just change the values around, the variables around. This is two, two, and this is two, all twos. It's the next one here is for sheet number two. Now let's change the text box. This is going to be Doritos. And this will be known as Oreo. And let's say we have cracker here. Crackers. There we go, and that's it. Right. Okay, let's go to the form there and double click on the resets. We enter the following lines of codes for the resets there. Okay, those are the lines of code for the reset. Now, the next one is going to be for exit, and right there, those are the lines of code for exit. Okay. Now, what we need to then do is to enter title for the spreadsheet itself. So I'm going to maybe open up the spreadsheet. So let's look for it. There we go. So the this column here, or this cell here, I'm going to call that color. And this one is going to be sprite. Then followed by Tropicana. Okay, that is for my sheet one. Let me minimize this so that you guys can see. That's for the sheet one, okay? Make sure you have sheet two. You can always click on these to have sheet one, two, and three. But I only want sheet two. I don't want sheet three. So you can get rid of that if you want. Let's delete that. Okay, one sheet two, so on sheet two, I'm going to enter the readers there. The readers. Then, here, let's enter Oreo. Okay, let me spell the Dorito the way it's spelled on my system anyway. Oreos, then uh, finally, I have a cracker here. Okay, those are the title for my for my product. Let's enhance this one as well. Okay, there. So we are now on sheet one. If I decide to run this project now, first of all, let's make that full so that we can run it and see what we're doing. If I run this now, let's try it out. There we go. So move it outside. That's cook. So how many cook how cola do we want? Let's say we want three sprites. We want maybe four of those and tropicana. One like seven of those are not real. 
let's say we want three three oreo the ratio is three m crack one nine of those click on product there we go save product you see that if i click on it again and again see that let me show you let's, let's reset the reset works and the exit works as well all right let me show you the spreadsheet itself sheet number two click on sheet two look at that okay let's run it again keep sheet two on run that's sheet number two and enter whatever you want to enter in there and here that's sheet four for sheet one and click there we go you see that guys and that is how you write or you create a program a data entry program to add your data onto sheet one and sheet two so with that i'm going to call it the end of this tutorial i suppose you guys enjoyed you all have a nice day now and bye for now